I'm going to play a game of solitaire for Hong Kong Mahjong. Hong Kong Mahjong is a lot like Remy. You need four blocks and a pair. The blocks can be three in a sequence, three of a kind, or four of a kind. The combination of your hand will determine the value of the hand. If you want to know more about scoring, download this player reference. In this game of solitaire, there will be a three fawn minimum. Three fawn to win. You got to know the scoring. A quick go-to for three fawn is a half flush. One suit with winds and dragons. Another is all pung. Even a mixed suit is fine. That's three fawn. Let's see what happens in this game of solitaire. Three fawn minimum. That's what we're shooting for. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. All my tiles have been mixed and built into walls next to the risers. This way we can keep track of the progress of the game based on how many tiles are left for picking. I'm going to deal the tiles now. Player 1 will get 14 tiles. Players 2, 3, and 4 will get 13 each. Then we're going to look at each player's hand, see where the strengths lie. Hopefully we'll be able to identify where they'll be able to get their three fawn. For this game, we're going to say that it is the east round for the wind of the round. That variable could come in handy. Everybody has their tiles. Let's see what we can do for player one, also known as East. East has a flower, a number four. That's not going to bring them value. We would need a number one flower, but we can still get a replacement. Three, four, three, four, five, pair. Isolated. Here's a pair. We could do all chow and a pung or pair. Use that as a pair. All chow is only one fawn though. We have a three fawn minimum. So I think we're going to have to sacrifice these because we have five bams. Half flesh is three fawn. Even though this is a potential chow and a chow, all chow is only one fawn when you mix suits. We're going to have to sacrifice these. This is east round, east seat. We won't get value for any of those if we pair up in pung. This, if we pair up in pung, will give us one fawn. So that is not enough either. We really need to go for half flesh. Five discards, but they have an extra tile to get the game started. So all hope is not lost. Let's see what we can do for player two, also known as South. They have a one flower. No value. Oh, they got a one dot. Look at all those dots, full flush. We have four discards for a full flush, one suit, one, two, there's a chow, three, we need more dots, one, two, three, there's only three blocks in here, so we need more, maybe a half flush if we can get winds and dragons, that would be one suit with winds and dragons, kind of like down here, one suit with winds and dragons, and it's any combination, so four discards for this player to get to a half flush or a full flush. Let's see what we can do for Player three, known as West. This player has no flowers, which is a fawn right now. They do have isolated tiles, one chow, four bams, four dots, single honors. I would start, let's see, one, two, yeah, one, two, three, four, five. I would start by discarding the cracks, see if bams or dots come in, and play a half flesh. 
we only have one pair. So I wouldn't try for all Pung, all three of a kind. Only one pair. This is going to be a challenge. Six discards, no matter how you slice it. This player's in the lead, followed by this player, then this player from their starting position. Let's see what we can do for player four, known as North. They have a two flower. Single honors, cracks, one, two, three, Potential chow, potential chow, potential pung. There's actually a chow right there, but if we break it off, we have a potential chow and a potential pung. I would discard these and go for a half flesh. We got to get to three fawn. Let's discard three dot. Here, we could chow. Let's see, three dot. Chow. If we break a chow, so we have a two, three, four. If we break the chow to make a chow, we can still make a chow here. Let's go ahead and chow. We're going to discard these tiles. Two bam. Now here they have a pung. We could pung and leave that for another potential chow. or stay concealed. Or we could Kong and draw. We could always hold that and Kong later. Let's Pung. Pung, three of a kind. See what happens, four dot. Nobody can take the four dots, so we'll draw. Three crack. We want dots. We chowed, so we're committed to dots. Even though that's a pair, we'll have to sacrifice that. If you, I threw a four bam. If you mix pungs and chows in different suits, all of your number tiles will have no value. And we need to get to three fawn. So four bam was discarded. Nobody can take it, so we're going to draw. We got a three flower, that's their flower. So that was nice. They had no flowers, now they drew their own flowers, so we're back at one fawn. Six dot, that's gonna help us with a half flush maybe. Let's go ahead and get rid of two crack. Up here, we can't take it, we have a one two. And nobody else can take it. You can only chow from the player on your left. We got a seven crack, that's nice. Let's get rid of these offsuit tiles. Three bam. Three bam, nobody can take it. White dragon, that is gonna help. Any pung of dragons is worth a fawn. We have bams out, we're gonna get rid of the cracks. Three crack. Up here, we're gonna ignore that because we're committed to dots since we have bams out or dots Three, two, one. Since we have a chow of dots out, we don't want to be tempted by that. We need to sacrifice that. So we are going to draw. Seven bam. Nobody wanted the three crack. Let's discard that. Drawing for west. One crack. Drawing for north. Six dot. Nobody can take it, so we'll draw for east. Seven crack. We don't need any of these cracks. We want bams. Four crack. Nobody can take it, so we'll draw. Five crack. We want dots. Let's get rid of the three crack. Two dot. That is a keeper. We need dots. We have a potential pung, potential pung, potential chow. We need to pair up these or draw more dots. Let's discard nine crack. Up here, let's chow. 
So here we have 6, 7, 8, 7, 8, 9. Here we go, 7, 8, 9, chow. So there's a chow for north. We're collecting cracks. We'll discard four bam. Nobody can take the four bam. Green dragon, single, but we'll see. None are out. Let's discard five crack. And nobody can take the five crack. Nine dot, that's a keeper. Maybe this full flush will come in. Let's get rid of five crack. That was just discarded and nobody wanted it. Let's draw. Five crack. Up here, this player can actually take it. We still need a pair in here. If we chow, we still have the potential to use that as a pair. But if we keep it as is and draw, we may have a chance to pair up or draw in more cracks. Let's just stay the way it is and draw. It's really six one half dozen the other, I think. Four dot. Sometimes you get what you need out of the wall. Nobody can take it, so we're gonna draw. Three bam, that is a keeper. We want bams. Discarding seven crack, which nobody can take. So we have some chow potential, pung potential here. We have a ways to go yet. Seven crack was thrown, so we're gonna draw. Four crack. Nobody can take it. Six bam. That's a pair. We really could maybe play all pong. One, two, three pair. Let's just hold that and see what comes in. One bam. Can't chow from the player across from you, so it's this player's turn. We might be able to use these for pongs. We'll see. Nine bam. We don't need that. We want cracks. They have a chow out. So once you have a chow in a suit, you need to stick with that suit with honors if you're playing at a three fawn minimum table. Down here, we can't take it. Here, you can't take it because this is on there. This was the player on their right. So let's draw. Last tile, second wall. Seven dot. Here, they could chow, leaving a potential chow. So we're going to break that chow to make a chow and leave a potential chow. We'll discard nine crack. And it would be this player's turn. Three dot, very nice, very nice. Okay, let's get rid of eight bam. We're gonna still hold on to this pair for a while because if we pair up one more time, we can switch from a half flush to all pung. We might end up sacrificing this though because we could pung, potential chow, there's a chow. There's some flexibility here. This is the weakness, single honors. Let's draw. We need cracks or pair up here. Nine bam, no, that's not good. Let's discard five bam. Down here, we can't take it. We have a single five, two, three. Six crack. Drawing here. Four crack. Four bam. One bam. Down here, let's chow. Chow. Okay, now, singles. Potential pung, potential pung. Let's get rid of these tiles here. I don't think we're gonna need this. This is the most valuable, but as a single, it's risky to keep. 
The longer you keep these valuable tiles, the more likely others will be able to pair up for value to Pung. So we're going to discard Green Dragon. This player's turn. East. None are out. That could bring value since it's the wind of the round. Even though this is south seat, if you pair up and Pung the wind of the round, you can get a fawn for that. So we'll discard seven. Bam. Here, we can't take it, nor would we want to. Really, we need dots. Nine, bam. Drawing for north. Three flower. Three dot. Nobody can take it, so we'll draw. Six crack. One crack. Five bam. Nobody can take it. We want cracks. Two dot. Now, this player's turn, but this player can pung. If we pung, we'll have a potential chow and a chow. Let's go ahead and pung. That would be from the player on the right. We'll discard seven bam. Drawing up here. We don't want to be distracted by that. We've got a chow out. We're committed to cracks. Eight crack. That's a keeper. Let's get rid of eight bam. Drawing down here. Red dragon. None are out. Eight bam. There are two. Let's see. There are two out now. Let's get rid of that. Drawing here. Seven bam. East. We need we need to get rid of these offsuit tiles or pair up. East, south, red, white, east and south. We have one, two blocks. We have a chow. I think we should get rid of the six bam and go for a half flush. It's, it's more flexible. Drawing for north. Six dot. We need cracks. Eight dot. Here, we can chow. Okay, now... Let's discard north. Down here, we're going to pung. Whoops. Pung. Now, let's go ahead and discard south. That's going to be a risky tile. Nobody can take it. We're going to draw. Three bam. Four bam. Red dragon. Oh, very nice. We could pung maybe. North is out. Let's get rid of this nine bam. And then later we'll get rid of the north because there's a pung out now. So nine bam was thrown. Let's draw. Eight, bam, that could have been a good pair. Oh well, drawing here. Three, crack. Oh, a keeper, five dot. Okay, so we have a potential chow pair, potential chow. Let's get rid of six, bam. Three, bam. Too bad they have just a single bam here. One bam. Okay, let's keep the one bam. Maybe we can use that for a chow or a pear. Let's get rid of red dragon. It's this player's turn, but this player can pung. From the player on our right. Pung, red dragon. We'll discard north. Safe discard. Drawing for east. 
four flower. No value there. Nine dot. We need BAMs. These BAMs. Nine dot was thrown. Let's draw. Five crack. Drawing four west. Green dragon. Okay, red dragon was punged. Let's discard that. Red. Drawing four north. Nine crack. Keeper. Chow potential. Six, seven, eight potential chow. Okay, let's get rid of west. Drawing for east. South. That's out. Drawing for south. Seven crack. Okay, now seven crack. We have a single here. We still need a pair in here. There's a pair. Two potential chows. They're not quite ready. So seven crack was thrown. Let's draw. Five dot. Okay, looking better there now. South was just discarded. Let's throw that. Single honors. We need to get rid of those. So even though this is a Kong, we're going to split it out and use it here. Three, four, five, pair, five, six, seven. We have a Pung out, so that's one, two, three, four. All we need is one pair in here. So south was discarded. We're going to draw one, bam. That's a bummer. Okay, that's the third one out. We need to discard that. Last tile, third wall east. This is a risky tile actually. Let's get rid of that. East. Nobody can take it. Singles. That was the last tile in the third wall. So we are in the end game now. This player's one away from ready. This player's one away from ready. This player is three away or two away from ready. This player is one away from ready. I think I would play to win for everybody. Drawing four south. White. East was thrown. Let's throw that. This is going to be a risky discard. Let's draw. Six dot. Okay. I don't know if that's going to be helpful. 3-5 or Pung or Chow. We'll see. Let's discard East. Drawing for North. West. That's been thrown. One crack. South. All the twos are out. We need to pung. This could be the pair. We need to get rid of that. South. West was thrown. Seven dot. Wrong suit. Two flower. Two crack. Six bam. Let's discard the white dragon. We're not going to be able to use it probably as a single. So that would mean we can pung here. Player on the right. And now we need to discard. So there are two one bams out. There are two five bams out. Either way, there are three one bams out. There we go. Now, naked weight. That, that's because you're all, you're waiting on a single tile. So that's called a naked weight. No, it's not. Just bring that back. Okay, so we need a five bam to win. One single tile. It's a little awkward. Okay, drawing here. We need a three dot or a one dot. East. That's out. 
nine crack. Now here, we could chow. If we chow that, we're left with an isolated tile. I would not chow. We have a pair here and a potential chow. We should draw. Green dragon. Nobody can take it. Seven bam. So let's see, seven bams, they're all out. Two crack. Six crack. Okay, seven, eight, nine. Six, six, seven, eight. We have a six, seven, eight. Let's draw. Four crack. All right, now let's just see. We're still not quite ready. Let's get rid of four crack. There's still some flexibility in here. We need a pair still too. Drawing four east, eight dot. Can't take it, this player can't take it. Nine bam. Nine dot. Okay, green dragon was thrown and this is a safe tile. Let's get rid of green dragon. I need to make room. Okay, that's a safe discard because there's a pung out. Seven, eight, nine, pair, potential chow, pung. Okay, let's draw. Eight dot. They can't take it. West. How many Wests are out? One. I think they're all out. West. <gasps> One dot. Okay, we're ready to win <laughs> on a three dot. Six bam. They're, all the two dots are out. So they need a three dot to win. Green dragon has been thrown. Drawing four north. Eight crack. Oh, finally. Okay, now we got them ready. So we have single pair, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. We could do seven, eight, nine, six. It doesn't really matter. How many three cracks are out? Let's see. I don't think it matters because seven, eight, nine, pair, isolated. Six, seven, eight, pair, nine, ready to win on a three. So let's just see where are they. One, two, three. There's one more to go. One more, three, crack. One, two, three. There's still a three, crack out. Let's discard nine crack. Ready to win on a three crack. Ready to win on a three dot. One away, ready. That's it. Self pick on a pair weight. <laughs> okay, there it is, east one. Four or three flowers, none have value. We need ones, so these are of no value. So they have what's called a half flush. They have a mixture of chows and pungs, but that's okay. We do have a pung of dragons. This north is not their seat. It's this player's seat, and it is the east round, so they won't get value here, but they do have a half flush dragon pung self pick. So this will be four fawn. Four fawn. 
is 16 points. Self-pick, 32 from everybody. When you play at a table with a three fawn minimum, the best go-tos are all pung or half flesh. If you can swing it, push for one suit only, full flesh for value. In this case, everybody was playing half flesh and East drew their winning tile, even though they had a pair weight with a single concealed tile. Sometimes it comes in. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next solitaire for Hong Kong Mahjong, may all your picks be keepers.